Hey everybody, it's Jason Blahal with Ice Cream Fitness here. I got a private message this morning asking me about protein intake and why some people make fantastic gains in progress on low protein diets. But hold on, let me give you guys a bicep shot first. Okay, and the thing that they mentioned, and I've seen this example before, and I love this particular example, and I've seen it about five other times, because as luck would have it, it's an interesting weight class. But people have pointed out, vegan powerlifter in the 181 weight class, you know, is very strong, does very well at meats, and he eats something like a 10 or 15 percent protein diet, and I don't even know what my percentage is, I don't track percentages, I track grams. But the interesting thing is that a counter argument for that is that, well, Jamie Lewis is the world record holder in the raw 181 class. He outlifts this guy. And he does what's called the carnivore diet, which means he gets something like 80 or 85 percent of his calories from protein during his meat prep. And he eats something like five or six pounds of meat every single day and then fills in the rest with protein shakes and a few veggies is part of his meat prep and he calls it the carnivore diet. So if you want to use examples of exceptional individuals, the vegans just lost that one. Now I'm not saying either approach is ideal because I think Jamie's approach is extreme also, but you get the idea. They've got one shining example there of this vegan and he's crushed by a guy who eats almost exclusively meat for meat prep who is also the world record holder. So that sort of example doesn't work. And here's the thing, that everyone says, well, I know people who don't count protein, they don't necessarily eat a lot of protein. They might eat 100 or 150 grams a day, if I had to guess, and they're big, they're lean, they're strong. So is it actually important to eat a high protein diet? And my question would become, is it important to get there in a reasonable time frame to you? Are you concerned about how long it takes you to reach a goal? Because yes, people on lower protein diets still gain muscle. There's still studies showing that they gain muscle. They can gain muscle every week, every month, year long. But they do not gain it as fast as people on a higher protein intake who eat closer to the recommendations I give. I usually recommend one gram of protein per pound of lean body mass is what I recommend for bulking and for muscle gains. And I recommend increasing that when you're cutting and all the data supports that. So it's a question of how fast you want to get there, but you can't say that because someone got from point A to point B that they chose the best route when all evidence is, says otherwise. It's just like if I were to get in my car and drive from Houston to Dallas in four and a half hours, and then you got on your bicycle and did it in 15 hours, that doesn't prove the fact that you got from Houston to Dallas on a bicycle that a bicycle is the best way to do it. Because simply getting from point A to point B doesn't mean that you did so in an intelligent or efficient or a quick manner. And it's the same with the protein intake. Yes, you will gain muscle on protein intakes lower and sometimes dramatically lower than what I and others recommend, but all the data suggests that it's going to help you reach that goal faster and a little easier. And that's the whole point of it. It's not essential for gains, but it sure makes things a lot easier. So you have to put that in perspective. A lot of the advice I give and a lot of the advice other channels give and other people give is not to tell you that there is only one way to do things. It's oftentimes we're giving advice because it will get you there a little quicker, a little easier. It's going to help you reach your goal sooner rather than later doesn't mean that you can't reach it doing something dramatically different from what we're suggesting. We're just giving advice that for most people is going to help them achieve their goal sooner. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you next time.